And you guys know that when it comes to pets, yeah, people can be very passionate. That is expected to be the case at a public hearing here at this town hall tonight. But people here who own pets are saying that having them in parks enhances the overall quality of the parks. Not everyone agrees, though. Basketball playing is something you'll find in Fanwood, New Jersey parks, along with tennis and other sports, as well as kids playing on the jungle gym. Whee! One thing you won't find in Fanwood's public parks? Oh, he's not. He did something different. Ty, a nine-year-old wiry-coated canine, or for that matter, any dog. <laughs> the sign clearly reads that dogs are prohibited, and it cites a town ordinance. It requires that dogs be licensed, vaccinated, leashed, that their waste properly be disposed, and it prohibits them from parks. The law makes a lot of sense. It's just this one line in the law of a multiple page ordinance that just does not belong. It doesn't fit today's Fanwood. Carolyn Brink and her golden doodle Beckett are leading the charge against the ordinance, which has been on the books for 21 years. The town council is set to vote on whether to pursue changing the ordinance that would allow folks like the Cohen family and their dogs to use the park. We're not asking them to run freely. We're asking to make sure that people pick up, that people are still licensed, you know, the dogs are licensed, so that we can go for a stroll through the park. One reason dog owners like them want that access? Most streets here in Fanwood are like Vinton Circle here. See any sidewalks? Exactly. So most people and dogs have to walk in the street. The meeting on the issue is expected to be passionate, maybe even heated. An advisory board to the council voted by a narrow margin to keep the ordinance, and there have been some complaint calls about dogs in the park. Unfortunately, there are neighbors that call the police, and because the town has this ordinance, they have to enforce it. But every non-dog owner that we met had the same opinion as Karen Shirer, who had her kids here at the park today. I don't <laughs> mind dogs in the park, but I do hope that, I, that, that all the rules are followed and that they, they clean up after the dogs and keep them on leashes. Now, virtually every inland state park in New Jersey allows dogs. Residents here who own dogs say they just want the town to live up to that standard. Will it? We'll know after the meeting, which is slated for 7 o'clock tonight. We'll have the results later.